Greetings Laddingtons. Helios noticed that I was a bit down, so he decided to bless me with this absolutely magnificent weather to make me feel a bit better. And I do, I do feel better. I also feel better because many of you did as I asked and uh, clicked the link in the description of the former video. If you didn't see it, I will ask the same of you. Um, I have spent many years trying to bring good advice to people. Now I ask something in return and that is that you will follow the link in the description and um, yeah, follow me on, on that site. I will um, make more videos in the coming time. And the primary reason for making more videos is so, is so that everyone will get a heads up on where they can find me if, um, if I get shut down on YouTube or if I decide myself that I will stop making videos on YouTube. So you don't have to, of course, if you don't really, if you don't really like the content, etc. Um, but if you do, you know where to find me at least. And now I've given you a, um, a heads up. And if you see this on the other place, I salute you. You are a good man or woman. Very heartfelt. Now, of course, also, it's Physique Friday. You can post Physique to Gab. And for those of you who have been with me for a long time, I use Gab now the same way as I used uh, Facebook back in the day. So, you know, some, some commentary, uh, some more light-hearted content as well. I keep the heavier stuff to Telegram. And uh, even if you're not on social media, I would definitely encourage you to follow me on Telegram. Then you will have all, all necessary updates. I would also encourage you to use Telegram as your standard messaging app. So get over all your mates there and uh, start using it instead of Facebook services. Now, on another note, I've also released a podcast episode talking about diet. So an hour of me talking, talking diet, basically. Um, if you're interested in that, I uh, will have the link in the description box below as well. Um, for future announcement, it will also be on Telegram and uh, Gab. So yeah, good times, good times. Um, be proactive um, and follow me on these other social media platforms. It's, um, it um, brings peace to my heart. Um, I will make a separate video on it, uh, you know, the sensation of seeing your life's work threatened, something that's, you know, YouTube has been with me since 2013, um, been a uh, constant in my life. But anyway, I will talk more about it in uh, a coming video, um, either here or at some other place. I can't say more here on YouTube, but uh, yeah, if you do want to help me out a bit, uh, sign up there, first link in the description box below. So anyway, I will paraphrase Aristoteles when he said that excellence is a habit. And it's true, you can have a habit that is good or bad. In my last video, I talked about making your bed in the morning because it creates a good start, an easy victory at the beginning of your day. So it's a good upwards momentum. So if you make it into a habit of getting an easy victory in the morning, that's very good. You can also have bad habits. So it can take something as an example of a bad habit, smoking cigarettes. Now I have smoked maybe four or five cigarettes in total in my life when I was 13 or 14. Beyond that point, it wasn't really cool anymore. Um, so uh, yeah, <laughs> but some people still do it. And here's my analysis of why many people are doing it still, uh, especially people who are perhaps working, sitting down a lot. It's not necessarily about the nicotine itself, although of course it is a strictly biological addiction as well, of course, nicotine, but it's also about the, the habit and the routine. And I completely understand it because I've also been in the situation where people have asked, oh, I'm going to, oh, I'm going out for a smoke break. Would you like to come with me? And then I think to myself, yes, I would like to come with you, 
because it's nice to get off your chair, go out a bit, get a break in your yeah. If you if you do something that you find uh, tedious or whatever, but then of course you shouldn't accept because it's bad passive smoking and everything like that. But I understand the the impulse of it. I understand the the nice routine, the nice habit of it that you will get a little break. Um, so actually the hard part isn't quitting nicotine, the hard part is quitting that particular habit. So you can have a lot of bad habits. Uh, and this is something that I want to mention to all fellow content creators. You know, our biggest challenge right now is to reshape the, um, the habits of others. So you who are watching this now, you might watch it on YouTube, of course because that's your habit. You go onto YouTube and you check your, um, yeah, what sort of videos might have come out. Suddenly one of your favorite channels goes missing. You don't really know where to find it, uh, but it doesn't really matter because the habit you have is still to go on YouTube. Your habit isn't to look for specific videos. This is, of course, highly blackpilling for a content creator to realize, but uh, it is what it is. So, to take an example, I have 110,000 subscribers on YouTube now. Now, of course, not everyone uh, will watch every video because every, vi every video isn't relevant to everyone. And then, of course, if you are shadow banned on YouTube, uh, you don't even reach your own subscribers. But even if I, in a coming video, would reach every single subscriber and let's just suppose that every single subscriber is you know like me like my content and if I asked okay you can follow me on a different platform and I will only upload there how many would follow yes not particularly many at all maybe 10% if I'm if I'm lucky um, why is it because they don't like me no as I said the majority of them probably do like me, probably do appreciate my content, otherwise they wouldn't have subscribed in the first place. However, the, the habit, the power of habit is much more powerful than the, um, than the wish to watch my videos. So this is something you can keep in mind as well, you don't need to take it personally. I don't take it personally because I also know that I don't really have the power to break someone's routine unless they are very high initiative and uh, you know more human than NPC. It is hard, so don't feel down about it. Instead, if you're a content creator, view it in the following way. The proactive guys and girls, the more high initiative ones, they will follow you to a new platform and ultimately it's them you want to uh, spread a good message to anyway because they can in turn spread the message. The other ones who aren't as proactive, who have you know, hard time breaking a habit etc. Yeah, they won't be as, as good ambassadors for a good message, so to speak. So you might say, oh I'm so sad because I've lost 90% of my fan base. I understand it, I am sad too. I am sad, of course I am, but at the end of the day, if you view it in that sort of way, that the most high initiative people, they will find you anyway. So the question remains, how do we reshape habits, how do we reshape behavior? Uh, again we can talk about such a thing as getting shredded for summer and you want to start doing intermittent fasting, but your habit is to eat breakfast. Yes, what you have to do is you have to view it in an active manner that, okay, for two weeks I simply won't eat breakfast. You have to actively think about it. After two weeks it will be much more of a routine for you. It will be much easier because then you have the habit of not eating breakfast. Um, same thing if you are addicted to porn, and I know a lot of guys, they associate starting their computer with that type of behavior. Same thing here, you have to actively, you have to use your willpower um, to not do it for two weeks. Then you will have built a new habit in your brain. So no matter what you do, it might actually be 
to to watch my videos on another on another platform you have to use your willpower the first two weeks to do something and then it will get and then you will rewire your brain into getting into another routine so if you can actively decide over your own habits you um, yeah you can achieve a lot of things but if you can't decide over your own habits if you're a slave to your habits um, and the habits are bad it's um, it's very bad of course however if you have good habits excellence is a habit then uh, much can we want and I said this in a recent podcast as well talking about training from my experience as a coach the great victory is when a guy or girl gets into the routine first two weeks then yeah everything will just go sort of like starting a very heavy train on a track hard in the beginning once it gets going yeah it will go by itself so if you get into the routine if you get into the habit of doing certain things such as going to the gym not watching porn the minute you start your computer not needing to have a cigarette to have a break you have to replace your behavior with something else using willpower in the beginning so for example if you are addicted to smoking instead of going out from your desk outside to smoke uh, do something else go and do whatever it might be Um, go and do some breathing exercise outside as long as you replace the habit with something and realize that the habit is often the reward but if you change the reward now of course in the beginning doing some breathing exercises won't be as uh, rewarding as um, you know having a smoke Uh, same thing if you're used to watching porn uh, doing something else on the computer um, yeah it won't have the same reward but um, as long as you can replace the habit it's uh, it's a great victory then of course as I've said before as well I'm not immune to this either there are situations where I have as I said before I've caught myself mindlessly scrolling on Twitter instead of writing on my next book for example because I needed some sort of break every once in a while it's okay to have a break not the end of the world but again if you see it being too much yeah break your habits break your routine uh, it takes willpower in the beginning but once you once you start understanding how to break the routine how to break your habit it becomes easier to break other habits and this is also when I talked about making your bed as an easy victory uh, that creates a good momentum same thing here if you already have the routine of you know yeah I can break this habit it will be much easier to do the same with other bad habits so it's a good upward spiral that will aid you so anyway if you watched this far again link in the description I would also highly encourage you to sign up for the Legio Gloria newsletter it's on the page also link in the description box below it's the best way to stay updated on uh, clothing releases and as I posted on Twitter yesterday clothing is my main occupation at the moment that's where I put most of my effort creating good quality clothing so check it out and uh, also if you're on Gab don't forget to post physique it's physique Friday So anyway, thank you for watching. XXO, boom.